In this tutorial, we're going to try and clean up this menu so that it will look very nice, um, something close to this, so that we can divide it and um, name, group these uh, buttons or icons. In your own, whatever template you're using, there will always be another way to do this. So I'm just going to show you the Cake PHP way so you can adjust it according to whatever interface you're using. As you can see, I'm using the default Cake PHP front end. So if we come here using the bootstrap you know we imported bootstrap and this is foundation there will be a foundation way of dividing lists but in bootstrap i can just use this and say row separator and then it's just a bootstrap class you can get from bootstrap's website separator then class divide divider so uh, using the divider class if we refresh we'll see it neat line horizontal line dividing this menu okay this horizontal line divides this menu but we need it to be somewhere up here all right so we can have a neat divider and change password um, so we can have this and list users and um, we're going to take this down to this point and uh, we're going to call this um, so right here we're going to have another li that we're going to call give a class of heading a class of heading and uh, we're going to call it um, what we call this you can just call this orders orders and we're going to copy this same thing and put it up here okay we already have this so we're just going to copy this heading put it below this one we already have a divider and call it account my account account settings or my account depending on what you want to call yours i can leave it at or settings okay my account and then we have this the last one we can have is admin oops so we can which means below here we can put all the other uh, menu that only admin should see further down in the next video or so we will sh we'll work this out so that only admin can see this all right so if we go back and refresh a nice refresh should um, organize this very well very cool so what we have is um, my account others and admin so we can put at the top of this place the name of this uh, view that we're seeing which is users so what we can do is since we already have the name here I can just put um, our usual divider and heading once we have it we can put the name of this guy here and say echo oops okay there we have it so um we refresh and there we have it users we have all the user menu that we can have here we have accounts my account we have all the accounts we have orders we have about us contact us then we have admin only admin should see this anything that appears below this we'll put it in, in an if statement to make sure that only admin sees this all right for instance only admin needs to see the list of all users uh, a normal user should be able to see maybe their wall or their news feed but only admin should see list of all users and we'll fix it as we go along all right so far we've worked out the menu and it looks neat right now and we'll go in depth into this fixing it further but before we go into the next thing we want to go into i will want to show you that remember that this this menu that we're calling right inside um right inside here one by one we can actually call it at one place which is inside our default .ctpr layout so if you go to in, into your folder you see src template layout and we'll go to default where we are calling the view there's a place we are putting all our views here this is where we are putting this content so this default page loads are that's the skeleton you're seeing here that is what you're seeing here then cake php loads this content which is the view you're seeing here which means the way our files are outlined cake php loads this index page 
right inside here. So if you look here, you will see that right here we are calling the side menu. And the side menu is the first thing we are calling the way our folder is organized, our files are organized, which means we can just simply call it right on top of here. And call it right on top of this place and delete this. And it will just work, it will work just as fine. If we call it right on top of there and when we refresh, it will work exactly the same way. So as you can see, it works exactly the same way. Now, the, the downside of it is that if we go to um, a file that we've not... Re that means the downside is just that we have to remove um, this. For instance, if we go to view edit.ctp, we have to remove this because it's already called in the default.ctp. So if you go to a file like um, view that we've not removed it from, the issue we have is that we have it twice. So that's the downside. You basically make your design decisions on which is best for you and uh, how to approach it. Which means if we put it here, we can now put an if statement to check when user is logged in. So we can do something like if auth. Remember in the earlier tutorials we set auth. If auth is true, then the user is logged in the way we um, designed our application. So we can just say if auth. It shows the logged in view else show the logged out view oops we say else show us the logged out view so there we are logged out and we don't need to pass anything into logged out so we have logged out which means in all these other ones we'll just delete this and um, in sign up we delete it again we don't need to call it so there we are and we have done what we need to do perfectly so if we go back in time we go back and we refresh everything should just work perfectly so in the next tutorial we'll um, see how we can modify the view page Remember that this is the view uh, page and we'll see how we can modify it so that we can any view page that is opened at any point in time will have these exact menus. Alright, so thank you very much. See you in the next video.